since I gave Lululemon a try, and I don't know if you guys have heard, I'm sure you have, that they actually launched their very first pair of sneakers. That's right, they launched the Bliss Feel a few weeks ago, and right away I was like, you know what, lululemon.com, let me see what you're about. And then I got to looking around the site, saw all the new releases, really fun new spring things that I feel like I could just add to my wardrobe. You know what it's like when you go into a store for just one lousy thing, and then before you know it, your cart's overflowing, and then you're at the point of no return at checkout, and you just bite the bullet and accept your fate. That's where I was with this haul, okay? We all know Lululemon's up there, all right, on the list of expensive active wear, but I feel like lately, I've been really just wanting to see if I'm missing out on anything. Because I never really gave them a fair shot. I would see the ticket price and just run the other way. So I'm here today to give them that fair shot that I feel like they deserve. Before we hop into this, you already know the drill. Hit that subscribe button. We do weekly active wear videos, all sorts of active wear. We're talking Instagram brands, some mainstream, dipping and diving in new releases, and a ton of unreleased hauls as well. We are getting used to our monthly giveaways, so stay tuned for that because we have some more coming up very soon. Without further ado, let's see what the frig we did here. Bay's looking at me like, damn girl. Damn, I'm gonna have to find myself a new woman. By the way, these are all in a size like four. I am a small usually in everything, so I opted in to grab the size four. Okay, so we are looking at the first outfit I chose. The Wonder, what the fuck is it? <laughs> these are the Wonder Train High Rise shorts. Got them in biker style, eight inches baby, because I love some length to my bikers. I think there's like a six inch short, but I went with the longest because, and I think this is the longest version that they have, because I really love biker shorts in the summertime when I'm going for my walks, man. And going biking, honestly, because I like to bike, believe it or not. It's like ash bikes? Yeah, I do. This is in the color gray sage. You guys actually talked me into trying out the Wonder Train. In one of my last Lululemon videos, I was wearing the Align. You guys said, oh, you have to try the Wonder. You have to. So here I am today trying it out. I can't wait. I trust your guys' recommendations. On that topic, I did not try any of this on beforehand. Save that for you. First impressions are for you only. This is made with their Ever Lux fabric. It's supposedly their fastest drying fabric fabric and <laughs> you best believe I'm gonna put that to the test. So this is known for being cool and sleek on the inside and brushed on the outside. I could definitely feel what they mean. To pair with it, I thought this would go perfectly. We have the Love Tank Top. This is a long name, damn Lululemon. In the color Wash White Opal Raw Linen Rover, what the? F when I'm casually going outside in the summertime, I love, love loose, long drop sleeve tank tops that aren't like hugging up against my armpits. It's just carefree and flowy. This is my go-to when I just, I biker shorts and a loose tank, like game over in the summer. This is really soft to the touch and I appreciate how stretchy it is for a tank. It's made of their Vita C fabric. Okay, I wish I sized up in the shorts. They were a little bit snug to get on. They're digging a little bit around the thighs here. If I could do it all over again, uh, yeah, I would have sized up. But even with it being a little too snug, they're pretty flattering. Usually I don't like front seams because more times than not, they ride right up and give me the dreaded CT. Nobody likes that. But I gotta hand it to Lululemon. They're pretty good in that department, especially in these. Like, you guys are right, the Wonder Trains, these are really good. I do like the support in these. Now, granted, they might be because they're a little snug on me, but I'm feeling a nice, Decent amount of support going on in the Wonder Train. Let's see if you wick like you say you do. While we're waiting for this to dry, let's try on the tank top, shall we? This is exactly how I was hoping it would fit. Casual neckline, long right here, right? I love that drop sleeve underneath, let my armpits breathe out, but it's not too low where my bra's showing. So I actually feel really comfortable like if I was going into a store or something. For a $42 tank, I was hoping to see a little more of their branding. I do see a tiny little logo, but it blends right in. I know that minimal logos are in, and I do like minimal logo, but I feel like with this kind of tank top, it's almost kind of basic, you know what I'm saying? Especially you don't see the Lululemon logo. I feel like 
It's a basic tank top you could kind of get from Target or something. So about six or seven minutes after waiting and I can finally see it wicking fully. However, I do have to say a couple things that I'm not comfortable with, because keep in mind, again, these were $64 biker shorts. You can see the tag. When I squat, there's a tag. I guess I could attempt to cut it but I don't know if I really want to do that. So right off the bat, like that kind of pisses me off. And granted, it could be because this is a little snug on me. So maybe it looks more sheer perhaps, but $64, I'm kind of just like, I don't really know if I'm sold on this. There is a little invisible pocket here and you do have a little draw cord. So you can even tighten the band right here if you wanted to. So there are some interesting and cool features about these biker shorts, but for me, like, I feel like I, You know what I mean? <laughs> so the next set we have is the Energy Longline Bra with the Inner Glow High Rise Short 3 Inches. I actually got this bra for the gym. In the description, it was claiming how versatile it really is. You can pretty much wear it doing anything. It is a medium support, so anywhere from cup size B to D, I think. I fit right in there, I just made it. I just made the cut. I limboed into this sizing right here. But yeah, what really drew me to it was obviously the raspberry cream color. I think it's very vibrant, pretty for the summertime. You know me, I love strappy action on the back. The thick straps though are gonna keep it nice and comfortable. So this is made with our Luxe Stream fabric, which is apparently slick and low friction support. All right, so you're not gonna be rubbing up on yourself. I feel like this material is gonna be absolutely perfect to grind in at the gym, lift some weights. These shorts, I'm now becoming a huge fan of Terry fabric. This is actually really stretchy, so props to them. I love stretchy shorts. These are high rise white. I know, I was like, should I even bother with the white? I had a feeling when I saw this online that this would just really emphasize the curves bring out like a little bit of that side leg. You see that cut hem on the sides? I love when shorts come a little higher. I feel like it gives that really high-waisted look. It kind of emphasizes the little hip to waist ratio a bit. You do have two side pockets right in here, which I love, a draw cord. And I do love the layered band here. There's no lining in it whatsoever. All right, so you're gonna have to wear something. This bra was a struggle, all right? One of my extensions almost ripped off my head. And now I'm left with a severe bra bulge action going on right here. I feel like I'm wearing a corset right now. Corset, corset, whatever. This is in the size four. When I go into H&M and I grab a size four and I wear it, it always fits perfectly. For some reason, Lululemon's fours aren't working for me. Why? <laughs> Somebody help me out, please. Other than that, I think if I sized up, this would be a really cute bra. This color, okay. I do actually like this little bit of extra coverage here. Very cute. Strappy, beautiful backing. You do have the bra pads in here. You have the inserts as well. So with that being said, if you're in between, I would suggest sizing up, especially if you have, which you probably do, bigger boobies than mine. But these shorts are a different story. So again, I got them in like the four sizing and this is perfect. What's going on, Lulu? Lemon? Just how I hoped they would be. Cute little high rise, nice little vintage -y look. Nothing's riding up uncomfortably. It's very true to size. I think it's ever so slightly short back here. Like if I were to bend and, you know what I mean? The bend and I might just have to snap right back up. All right, protect myself here. This is not something I would work out in by any means. I wouldn't go to the gym. I wouldn't be squatting in this. I would use this as a, I'm going for a summertime walk or I'm going down the shore and I'm walking the boardwalk because I want something that's not gonna ride up. No jeans, no friction, just something low key and crisp and white like that linen-y look. And especially because there's no liner inside, this would be really cute to wear over a bikini bottom. You know, the cute little bikini top, nice little cover up. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I wasn't anticipating grabbing these, but the design caught my eye and here I am. So these are the Align High Rise 23 inch crop. They have even shorter crops, but I don't like a heavy crop. This is in the color Diamond Dye Mink Berry with one R. Lunar Rock Shadow Gray. Whatever you say, whatever, whatever you say, but that's pretty damn accurate. So this is designed for yoga. Obviously I wouldn't be wearing this to a gym. I don't necessarily like or prefer wearing yoga style leggings to a gym. That's just my preference. However, I know I do see a lot of girls in my gym wearing the Lululemons and they rock them and they look 
freaking awesome. So if you like that, then you do it. These are buttery soft, weightless, new lube fabric. Very soft. Now I do have a good experience with the Aligns and they're actually one of, if not the most, I believe, popular Lululemon leggings to date. They just really nailed the fabric, the fit, and this design just spoke volumes to me. Like, yeah. I just feel like wearing a loose fitted tank or sweater over top, real neutral white maybe, and then have this pop of pattern underneath, so cute. And this is why I love the Aligns. These are my favorite leggings from Lululemon. Probably always will be. They were a breeze, a pleasure to get up. <laughs> very easy, very stretchy. These are a size four, just like everything else you see today. I feel like it's super flattering on the peach, a lot better than the other ones, the Wonder Train. I, again, I just feel like the material works better for my body shape. I feel like, you know, if I'm trying to get a plump dump, this would help me just accentuate that a little better. So when it comes to the peach, the Align wins my vote for sure. And how cute does this look together? I wasn't anticipating this to be even a combo, but here we are and I'm kind of glad about it. The pattern, okay, you have this like real deep purpley gray color, like little splotches, but then you have the lighter tones in here, which is a blush color. It's not white, it's more of a blushy tone. So I feel like this bra just kind of can pair effortlessly together with it. It flows, it works. Solid pattern, yes. I'm 5'3 for reference and all my measurements are down below. The 23 inch comes right perfectly above my ankle bone. Couldn't have asked for a better length. I think I'm getting a camel toe as we speak, but the cool thing is, is you wouldn't even notice it with this distracting pattern going on. And again, I'm wearing underwear and everything. So like this is with underwear. It's not digging, it's not uncomfortable. As I move, the thing I love with these leggings is that it just moves with your body. One of the most comfortable yoga leggings I've ever put on my body these ones right here. These will always have my vote. Super squat proof in these. Ugh, the band stays put. This is very low support, so don't get it twisted. You know, you can't do anything crazy in these. $100 now. But for the comfort, for what I'm feeling on my body, like, the Aligns, I'd probably drop the dough on it. The Aligns, I would. This right here, what you're about to see, was my most conflicted purchase in the history of any of my purchases. Take a wild guess how much this stretchy windbreaker was. Nope, keep going. Higher than that, a little bit higher. This right here was four, four hundred fucking dollars. This. So this right here is the Mist Over Windbreaker Reflective. I'm not gonna lie, the reason I snagged this was because my curiosity definitely got the best of me here. This is made solely for running. Am I a runner? Hell no. <laughs> There's only two times I would ever run in my life and number one would be if my life's in danger and number two, if somebody called me to eat dinner. And both of those instances, I would not be wearing a $400 windbreaker. Thank you very much. This is a reflective 360 degree reflectivity. So if safety, <laughs> you run at night girl, if safety, is top tier priority, then maybe it's worth the $400 because a car will probably see you from the moon. However, a gal like me, you won't catch me out at night. I'm in bed by 8 p.m. and I don't work out past like three. But let's take a look at this design. Like it looks like somebody just took a spray can of paint and just went to town looking like a modern painting over here. You do have that real bright orange, reflective orange, just splattered. Like somebody took a paintbrush Bob Ross style. <laughs> it just, just boom, put some wax on this thing. I really thought I got makeup all over it because there's a, a random like blushy tone. Like looks like foundation got wiped on it, but that's just part of the art itself. Most of my windbreakers, all of my windbreakers are stiff, like plastic stiff. So I can actually see why this would be really sought after for runners. For me, like I don't have a purpose for this, but I could see if you're a, you're a serious runner, you're practicing for marathons and things like that, this might be just what you need because this feels like this is gonna be super comfortable. Well, 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 what do we have here? What I do like about this jacket, I love the fact that you have the snood neck. Okay, it comes all the way up, 
Let me try out the hood actually. Oh, it's one of these. Oh, it's one of these hoods. Okay, if I get my makeup on this, I'm gonna be so pissed. The hood's stretchy, so it's it's really comfortable. Doesn't shift around. You have two zippered pockets, which I really like. A large back zippered pocket right here. So you could probably throw your phone back there. I feel like the quality is there, but boy, if I wouldn't be afraid of poking a hole right through this. It's so feather light and thin. The thinnest material you could ever imagine. I feel like if you have car keys in here, you better watch out because it might poke on through and you might just, even long nails, like if you have really nice long nails, like you, you better watch yourself on this. Even I'm watching myself and I don't even have long nails. I'm just trying to like not touch anything. Like I said, really cool that it's a stretchy, lightweight windbreaker, but $400. And it's hard to unzip by the way. Like once it gets to the very bottom, The size four works perfectly. You do have two thumb holes, which is nice. The Lululemon text is written out right across your wrist. You also have the logo very small down here on the side hip. My overall thoughts on this windbreaker, granted the fe there's certain features on here that I know avid runners would look for. So I'm not a runner. I can't put myself in their shoes. It's kind of one of those things where if you really could find this useful for your life and if you're a real serious runner, go for it. This might be really useful for you. If you're not, mm -mm. Uh, girl, I would be out of line to suggest you buying this. $400. I did save the best for last. Well, actually I saved the actual item I wanted to buy originally in this haul for last. <laughs> we are looking at the Lululemon Bliss Feel. This just came out a few weeks ago. Four years in the making here. I'm a little bit impressed. I'm very impressed. They claim they tried it out on like millions of women. They studied millions of women's feet and things like that. So let's see what we have here. I got the all white. Hey, I needed it to match everything that I own as usual. Oh my God. Oh, that new shoe smell is something else, man. $150, not terrible. These are running shoes. Again, I don't run, but I love wearing running shoes for walking. The arch support, I can't wear it. flat shoes when you're trying to walk. Are you kidding me? They claim that it feels like you're just like putting your foot into a cloud. There's a foam cushioning that softens landings and springs you forward on every step. Now that's what I'm talking about. I need a shoe that works for me. The overall look and design, super, super sleek, looks very breathable. Moisture wicking liner, pressure mapped out sole, increases traction and flexibility. So if you look closely, oh yeah, that grip is fierce and I like that. These are extremely lightweight sneakers. Like you will feel like there's nothing on your feet. Also, I forgot to mention, if you are in between, I would probably suggest sizing up. This particular shoe right here, you do have the Lululemon logo on the back. Let me feel it actually. Yes, it's just how I wanted it to feel. Feels like a little bit of felt back there. And then the insole here is teal, my favorite color. You also have the matching teal Lululemon logo right on the back sole here. These are insane. Wow. For their first go around, like this is better than half the Adidas I wear. I am taken aback in the most pleasant way right now with the bliss feels. Little to no effort to get them on, first of all. Second of all, it feels like these were made for my feet. So y'all with your million women, like I believe you. <laughs> you can feel, when I, when I first walked in these, you can feel the grip on the bottom. Like, like I feel like I could shuffle and just be safe in these. The support is great. Again, like I can't get over the comfort level in these. It really is like walking on a cushiony cloud. For this being for their first launch, oh, you best believe I'm gonna be hitting up when the summer colors come. I'm snagging them. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the f is that right there? Can you do something about that? Get that off my couch. Are you kidding me? Get it. Oh. We're not gonna kill them. <sighs> Open the door. Come here, you. Be free, mon frere. <sighs> I thought it was a spider, that's why I reacted the way that. We're not dirty, I promise. <laughs> Speak well. for yourself. I mean, well, no, I meant to Come say on. you are. 
great arch support where I can really feel it is the bounce in the heel like they were talking about. Like there's a spring in my step. Now granted, I don't know how they're gonna hold up over time, but my first impression, hands down, man, like this is, this is the investment I wanna make right here. My feet feel great. I'm right after this video gonna get another pair, I think. And maybe I'll get a few once I return that jacket. I literally went to the mall the day after we filmed, went to the Lululemon, went to go grab some more sneakers, and they had none in my size, okay? Zippo. I wanted the red pair, because I saw one of the workers here wearing it. There's none. There's two in the entire United States right now. These are going fast. Okay, guys, so that concludes today's Lululemon haul and review. What are your thoughts? Comment down below. Have you tried anything from what I shared with you today? What do you think? Anything you were interested in purchasing or you kind of just like, hell no. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe because we have a ton more fun content coming your way. Up next is the Buff Bunny's most wanted collection that's launching soon. That's gonna be an unreleased haul. And I know that you probably saw those new Alpha Lee Amplify leggings. That drop, I'm just warning you, is one for the books. So I hope you're ready. That's gonna be coming next week. So definitely hit this subscribe button right here. Check out these videos. In the meantime, I think you'll like them. I love you all so much and I'll catch you in my next video.